the lash goo. <laughs> the lash goo. If I if I did, I was gonna cry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With Maru. Ma Maru. <laughs> Hello my beautiful babes, what is up? It's Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I create this voodoo doll makeup. Now, I do apologize if this is a little bit weird and disturbing to look at as I do my intro and outro, as well as it being a little bit hard to understand me. The thing is, as I'll explain later on in the video, at the last second I decided to use this yarn instead of face paint. So because of that, <laughs> I would have thought to do my intro and outro beforehand, but uh, I didn't. So here we are. <sighs> anyway, if you guys are interested in how I create this look, then please keep on watching. Alright, so I have my little rough draft over here. But I don't know if I want to add some extra texture or fake blood. So let me go over the things that we're definitely going to need. And then the stuff that we might need, I'll mention towards the end. First things first, I have this basic felt. Obviously, it's in the shade, the shade. What? You know what? When you do makeup for so, so I can't speak. <laughs> okay, let's talk real quick. I... Took a couple of days off to let my skin relax, and now I, it's like I had trouble doing my makeup. I almost forgot concealer and basically jumped into contour. I'm a hot mess today, as you guys can see. Still not able to talk. Nothing's changed there, but now I'm dropping things more than usual. It's going to be a long video, so try to stay with me. <laughs> as I was trying to say before, here is this basic felt. It's in the color black. This is going to go underneath this button. I got these both at Michael's. Next is the Moran Makeup Spirit Gum with Remover. I got this off of Amazon. And then we have some cotton balls. This is a like an 8 pack of sponges for texture if I decide to do that. And if I choose to add fake blood later. This I'm pretty sure I got at like Party City one year fake blood spray. I used this for TikTok that got taken down because I violated guidelines. Although everyone was using props and blood, but mine got taken down. So, yeah. For the stitching, I was just going to use some face paint, but I grabbed some of this yarn. I got this at Michael's. I don't know the exact name of this, but I will have it linked down below like with the exact name. And everything, I might use this with the spirit gum or maybe lash glue. That's what I'm thinking to give us a little bit of extra spice. Real quickly before we get into the detailing within the face, I'm going to take this spirit, whoops, that's the remover. I'm going to take the spirit gum and the button as well as the felt. Use the spirit gum all over the back of the button place it on the felt put a little bit of pressure once it's dry i'm gonna take the scissor cut around it that way it's ready for when we have to place it on our eye using the moran makeup face and body paint this is their 30 count palette and of course i'm gonna be using their makeup brushes as well dipping into the black shade Starting from underneath my right eye, I'm going to do a vertical line all the way down my face. It's a little bit thicker than how I want it to be, but it's alright. From above the brow, I'm going to try to make this as symmetrical as possible right now. If I can find the right angle. <laughs> Continuing that line, but split it and create two new ones. I've got to buy black contacts. <laughs> you know what, it's okay, we'll improvise. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna create a line going across my neck and do the same thing that we did up on top and branch it out. 
if the line looks different it's because I changed it I've been trying to make it look as similar to my rough draft as possible but then I realized that this bitch in my rough draft has a longer neck than me I don't got that long of a neck so we're just gonna leave it at this <laughs> next up is the lips from the corners of my mouth I'm gonna extend it almost like a weird creepy smile grabbing the light brown paint with this little section right over here I'm gonna do a little bit of a square it doesn't have to be perfect filling that in and this is going to be basically like just a little random patch on the skin originally i was gonna go in with the dark brown but i feel like that won't make sense to add a random pop of brown so i'm gonna go back in with the black and use that to outline this little square stepping away from the paint at the moment i'm gonna dip into a palette i no longer use i don't care if the paint or the shadows mix together because that's really the only purpose that i use it for is for looks like this as i said before in my past videos mixing a warm and cool tone brown shade and focus this on the edges of the black lines this is what the shading is looking like so far I did it on both sides of the lines I even went ahead and outlined my lips using the JSC lip liner in the shade weirdo and even smudged that out with the two shades as well while I'm here I might as well just finish off the lips so debating what shade I want to go in with either celebrity skin or mannequin hmm let's see by the looks of it I think I'm gonna go in with celebrity skin going back in with the shade weirdo place it right in the center of my mouth and I'm gonna go in with my bling brushes L1 and use that to blend it out while we're on the subject of eyeshadow I might as well do the improv for the black contact I'm gonna dip into my cremated palette by Jeffree Star and take the shade hearse and place this all over my eye you know what I probably should take a smaller brush <laughs> that way when I close my eyes It'll kind of look like I have a black eye. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I can just like look up and like relax this eye. So I'm going to take, what is this, M213 and focus this on the inner corner of the eye. Oh my gosh, that looks so much better. <gasps> Look at that. I did take the black eyeshadow and keep it very close to the lash line because if you are going to a party and rocking this look and you only have it in the inner corner, it's going to look a little bit odd. <laughs> so to create the little stitching holes, I'm going to go back into the black paint and do some dots on the opposite ends of the lines then the last stitch is gonna go above my eyebrow some of these dots are really good other ones not so much but you know what it's okay they don't have to be perfect would I like them to be absolutely but they don't have to be I'm gonna do three X's on each side Oh my goodness, that one was horrible. Same thing that we did before with the shading with the lines. I'm going to dip in... Okay. I'm going to dip into a warm and a cool tone brown. That's not a mirror. <laughs> Dipping into a cool and warm tone brown. 
to give it some more dim oh, I can't speak <laughs> to give it some more dimension Moving on to the cotton balls, I have three. I don't know if this is going to be enough. A part of me feels like it is, and then another half feels like it's not. But I'm going to be taking this and some lash glue. You can use any as long as it's either white slash clear. This is by the brand Duo. I definitely need some more. <laughs> Start ripping it apart. Take some lash glue, put it on a makeup brush. Ooh. And basically paint it on the skin. The more, the merrier for this. Grabbing the little balls of cotton and just placing them anywhere. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I had no idea if this was going to work or not. I'm going to do the same thing to this lovely gap right over here, making sure I do not go to my hairline. I'm going to take a little bit of tweezers and I'm going to lightly, lightly tug on it. There we go. Same thing for up top. This cotton is making me want to go full out so I'm going to go in with this whatever you want to call it string. <laughs> I'm going to do my best to measure each and every one of them. The lash glue did fairly well so let's take some more and place some right on these two dots as a little experiment to see if this is actually going to work or not. I don't see why it wouldn't but I never do a trial and error until I actually film so let's see. But wait a second. I can't see the freaking dots I just made. <laughs> maybe it's because I made it a little bit too long. Let's see, maybe if I make a shorter one. It definitely helps if you make them a little bit smaller. That way you can see the black dots. Frick me. I have to do this over my mouth, but I just realized I didn't do my intro and I didn't do an outro. So how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> I'll figure it out. There are gonna be three yarns that we cross on the face. One, as you can see, is on my brow. The other is gonna be on my neck. And for my neck, I am using the spirit gum because I don't know if I'm going to have enough eyelash glue for like all of this so I'm going to use it sparingly. And the other crisscross is going to go right over here and applying some spirit gum in the center of the yarn as well to make sure it sticks. This is what the stitching is looking like so far. It's not bad, it actually looks pretty sick. Before I finish off the mouth <laughs> and then try to figure out how the heck I'm gonna talk to you guys for the rest of the video because I didn't think, <laughs> I'm gonna take some of the spirit gum and apply it to the back of the button and place this on my eye as carefully as I possibly can, really focusing on the edges and really basically avoiding the eye as much as possible and then of course I'm gonna fix my hair. So I'm gonna finish the rest off camera and then I'll be right back. Alright guys so this is the final look. I'm gonna do my very best to speak as clearly as I possibly can through the stitching. It is very difficult I will say that. This one right over here I had to fix about like four or five times. It just doesn't want to stay. I don't know why. I think it's because I didn't make this one long enough. I thought I did and then yeah it it wasn't long enough. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my best. If it comes off it you know it pops off. I really hope not but it is what it is. Anyway, for the button eye, I decided to switch my method when applying it. 
I used lash glue on the eyelid and then on the bottom I used spirit gum. The button was a little bit wobbly and I didn't like it. So I took some cotton ball and just shoved it on the sides and I think it looks really freaking cool to be honest. Looking back now, I just wish I would have did a smoky black eye instead of the way it is right now. For me to possibly go back and make it a little bit more smoky would be very difficult because of the spirit gum and the yarn right over here it it wouldn't look good so we're just gonna leave it as is overall though i really am proud of myself i love this so much i loved every look that i created this one is so different than the rest because it involves spirit gum and lash glue and wow both of them popped off it is what it is <laughs> This is a little bit more stepping into the SFX makeup area, and honestly, I'm obsessed with this. I'm going to try my best next year to incorporate a little bit more because this was so much fun fun but yeah you guys that's basically it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel as well as hang the notification bell as always every product used today will be linked down below in the description box i love you guys so so much i have you oh my goodness that's not english i hope you all have a very safe and happy halloween i will see you guys all in the next one bye guys <laughs> oh boy